What's up YouTube? I'm Esports today. I'm live on stream. This is what's happening on the chat right now. My chat is lit as always every single day, 24-7. And today we're talking guys about the most important topic of the moment on Dragon Ball Fighters. It's a topic that's been there for a few weeks. The atmosphere has been, you know, uh, quote unquote questionable lately, but you know, we need to talk about this regardless. And that is the one. We are going to go and check this current debate. Sonic Fox, after yesterday's major, said as much fun as I have playing Lab Code 21, I actually think we as a community should ban the character. I think as she is now, she is not healthy for the game and is an Omega rule breaker. It might be time. Thoughts? We are currently at 12,000 votes and it's it's actually pretty close, you know, which, which I actually find interesting. I kind of expected the ban the character to go ham uh, because knee-jerk reaction from everyone, but it's interesting to see that, to see to see the photo, to see that it's it's pretty close, right? And today, a billion people, like all of my 10 billion followers, have been tagging me on this tweet uh, because I have notoriously been against. There was this story about a TO who banned LabCode 21 before, which is kind of irrelevant to what's happening right now because that story was. A guy made a uh, poll about banning LabCode 21. People said no, and he banned her regardless, right? So it's it's quite an interesting solution. It's quite an interesting uh, parallel because it's not exactly the same thing. Uh, but we're going to talk facts today, right? And before talking facts, we have to mention something. LabCode 21 is a stupid, dumb, broken character, right? I don't think anyone... I don't think anyone will remotely disagree with this. She's undisputed top one. In fact, if you remove the debuff from her, she's still top one. This is how convinced I am that she's a ridiculous character. Even without the debuff, I still believe she's the best character of the game. Like, she's better than Vegito without the debuff. That is how crazy the character is. Like, that's actually the character right now. She's a full package. She's got H anti-airs that have uh, air to anti-airs that have absolutely no scaling and do like 80%. Has a full screen Lariat that is slightly minus, that is borderline plus, that's pretty much plus on whiff and that you cannot challenge ever. That full screen one will actually catch you from behind. She has a command grab. She has double hitting moves so you cannot guard cancel her. She has two command grabs, sorry. She has plenty of highs, plenty of lows, a command overhead, a, a stomp that will actually get an OTG of everything. So when she hits you with a command grab, when most characters will do command grab into... Basically, you look at characters, right? You either have Janemba with a 28... If I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, 28 frames, medium... Uh, command grab which will give you a combo behind or the H1 which has scaling uh, or you have other ones which just have a command grab. She has a command grab that she can do a stomp on, right? So, and she has a barrier and she has damage and, and she has everything and she has mix. I, I genuinely think she's top one even without the debuff, right? But the issue we have right now is we are talking about banning a character and to me banning a character has a massive massive implications and i want to raise on one response that i think totally has reason to exist kane kane said i will agree to stop playing 21 only if vegeto is also banned and this is exactly why the idea of banning a character is difficult because when you ban a character it means you as a community decide what's too good or not, right? Before LabCode 21 was released, the, the, the mainstream community was literally, I hate fusions, fusions are broken, fusions are too good, fusions are, are running the game and stuff. And then all that hate shifted to LabCode 21, right? So if you, if you ban LabCode 21, if you ban LabCode 21, it means you're saying, I'm actually fine with a character with a full screen 236H, that does 80% damage with a 5M, that's 9 frame and does full screen with all the tools in the world, with left, right mix, with damage and everything. I'm fine with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I'm not fine with, uh, with LabCode 21. And I think that's the problem of talking about banning a character. It's that the implication you put when you ban a character is that by default, you are saying that other characters are okay. And considering everyone has been complaining about Vegito for months, if you ban 21, 
and and you let Vegeta work. You're saying Vegeta's broken, but that's cool. She's broken, that's not cool. So it's 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 difficult to put this right. I think like Silver Blades uh, answer the same thing, and I think a lot of players agrees. Like Dunk as well says that uh, Silver Blade says c'est la seule arme qu'on a contre Vegeta. It's she's the only answer to Vegeta. That's what like Dunk as well says, right? And that's true. Like she she is the legit answer to Vegeta and pretty much Super Saiyan for Vegeta. So this salty gamer is literally my next point. The main reason why we are all in this right now is because we are left in the dark. And and that's what Alucard says. Alucard says it's wild how most of the frustrations are all because we get zero communication from dev. We let GT rock because we knew there was another patch, right? We let we let characters rock because we knew there was a patch. At the moment, all of us are in a situation where we are pretty much like, uh, I don't know what's happening with the game in the future. They gave us a stupid character and ran out, you know, and and we don't know. So to me, we need to center the debate around the actual problem at the moment. The actual problem of the moment is not LabCode 21 being broken. It's Arc Systems and Bandai Namco being silent, right? The actual problem right now is that they came at battle hour. Hiroki-san said, Android 21 lab coat like drops there and, and, and run out. Right? Like, it's literally the, the Dave Chappelle water. Like, what, what, like, uh, I'm sure I can find that gif. Yeah, it's lit literally, Hiroki did this at battle hour. Yeah, like that's what she did. She, she, she came, she was like, here is Android 21 and, and left. Right? This is the problem we have right now. To me, we as a community need to focus on the right problem, which is we need to have communication on this. And and my belief as a member of the community and even as a person who has a, a prevalent role in the community right now is to me, the way to solve this is to all as a community agree to use, I don't know, hashtag, whatever, to request communication and a patch because that way they cannot like they cannot ignore it if everyone if everyone like repeats it repeats it repeats it right it's it's literally listen over like 8000 language and man speaks facts top dog but but that's that's the thing yeah, but ace rod our first like to me our first priority should be to get Panay Namco slash Arxis involved in this issue because it, it will literally just take Arc System going on Twitter and saying hello we are currently working on Dragon Ball Fighters. they don't even have to say anything they don't even have to say what are they working on but just come and say we are currently working on something and we're done and and then everyone's like okay cool I'm gonna I'm gonna like bear with Labco 21 for a while you know if you ban the character, Joe, if you, I don't know if you just arrived there, but if you ban the character, it means you imply that Vegito and Super Saiyan for Gogeta are okay. So that, that's the problem of banning a character. The problem of banning... To me, you only ban a character when the character proper breaks the game. When you are ST Akuma. ST Akuma is a character that just breaks the game. No, like, he's just above the entire game. You know, that's the thing. Then... If Bandai Namco and Sarxis don't say anything or say, hey, we're done, then cool. That, that's when we as a community can figure out what to do for the future. But the overall view, the overall view is that you have to agree on the main pro problem, right? Which is, which is when do you ban and when do you get something for them? So for me, it's this, right? Get a... Get a dev involved, get something, and believe me, guys, me and Tarrant, <laughs> that's what we do. We are sending, like, we are sending the messages. Hello, <laughs> lab code's too much, can you get... But that's when you need the community to go on this, you know? Because literally, that that that, that thing about about the, the ban is 48% of people say that you're rock, you know? Like I said, Tekken players dealt with, with Leroy because, because they knew that there would be a patch on Leroy as well, you know? 
if Harada-san came and was like, here is Leroy, goodbye, I'm never seeing you guys again. Uh, that's the thing. And even though a lot of people don't like that kind of talk, because it's kind of like a boomer talk, it's like, oh, back in my days, we had to face freaking Yun on AE, an arcade edition SF4, we had to face Chun-Li in Third Strike. Yeah, but <laughs> it'd be like that, you know? I think, I think as a community, we need to like use, I don't know, maybe a hashtag DBFZ patch or something and just like DBFZ patch and what? If they don't say anything, then we take things in our hands because as a, as a wise man once said, it really be like that sometimes. It do, man. It do. It actually do be like that. <laughs>